everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about a thousand days. Maduro. You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to make certain you are alerted every time we produce new content. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I am smoking a very interesting brand new release from Crown Head Cigars called the Mil Diaz Maduro. If you're interested in this cigar or a whole host of other boutique cigars or perhaps even the portfolio of Crown Heads, check us out, you know where to find us. On Light Up. There's a hint, but very minimal of like white pepper, but I'm also getting like a smoked burnt end, like smoked meat type of flavor to it. That's followed with a transition of a little bit of like perfumey sweetness, which then is mixed in with a, a touch of like cocoa notes, a little bit of like toasted nut, and it finishes with like a leatheriness as well. As it continues to burn, however, compared to light up to now, that cocoa note is starting to take over. And I'm gonna say the balance on this cigar is insane especially with the tobaccos that it uses. It's been quite a while since I've seen such a well balanced because you have the heavy like foundational flavor that's in the broadleaf, that's in the Nicaraguan filler working together to create the flavor of Mil Diaz Maduro. So several years back, Crown Head Cigars, which is a boutique company which has started to climb up in the ranks, created a cigar released called Mil Diaz and it sported a Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and a mixed filler inside, it became arguably their most popular cigar on the market throughout their entire portfolio. Now I attribute this to a few things. One, I would definitely say that the flavor richness that you have is well balanced. It offers in a very like concentrated flavor, unique compared to a lot of Habanos out there, but it's one that you definitely keep going back for more. It's very complex. At the same time, I would also attribute it to the fact that it has a medium to medium plus like body and strength full in flavor. And it's very accessible to people who want to maybe try something a little bit stronger than a Connecticut cigar or someone who perhaps smokes the fuller body cigar. It still satisfies what they're perhaps used to. So you have this sort of like duality of why it becomes so popular all around. It's just a darn good cigar. Recently, John Huber, the co-founder of Crown Heads, had started teasing on social media that he was working on a Maduro version of Mil Diaz. The anticipation, of course, is very, very high. You gotta make certain, if you're blending a cigar to follow up, like make the Maduro version of something so popular and such high demand, it's gotta really live up to the hype. Enter the Mil Diaz Maduro. This cigar is off to a great start and it just now arrived at Oakland Tobacconist. It was just freshly released. This is a brand new release. And it sports one of the most oiliest wrappers I have seen on a cigar in terms of Maduro. It's a Connecticut broadleaf, very, very dark, like midnight dark. It's toothy, it's textured, but a very awesome like oil sheen to it as well. And something like that to me, like a textured wrapper, I'm immediately all about it. It has that Connecticut broadleaf wrapper over a Habano binder and fillers from Nicaragua. It's not the easiest thing to try to release a Connecticut broadleaf cigar. There are a lot of challenges that lie out in front of you. First of all is the scarcity of Connecticut broadleaf. It's expensive, it's hard to get a hold of, all these different hoops to jump through. And then at the same time, it's a very thick textured leaf. So it has to be blended just right with what you're using in the composition, the binder, the fillers, etc. And sometimes they can be at war with each other. But if it's done right, you get some good chocolate notes, maybe a little bit pepperiness, creaminess as it burns through, earthy tones. It's one of my favorite tobaccos in a blend. And we've worked really hard here at the shop to try to do custom blends. The Mil Diaz Maduro is an excellent example of using Connecticut Broadleaf in conjunction with Nicaraguan tobacco. It's very, very smooth. I would say decadent in a way. It's almost like having a dessert, but it's also got that meaty, smoky element to it that's on the backside. So while you get sweeter notes and creamier notes from this wrapper, you're also getting really good foundational like strength and flavor from the fillers and the binder all working together. I would say there's another name this could have been called, maybe it was the Harmony Cigar because that's how the tobaccos are working in conjunction with one another. I'm still getting that lingering sweetness, earthiness, molasses as well, and then there's also that chocolatey finish, like dark chocolate, maybe around like the 70-ish percent, so it's not bitter, there's sweetness there, but it's also like deep. Maybe there's a touch of espresso in there as well, 
but there's a lot of flavors going on and not harsh at all. I love a great retro hail. Sometimes I prefer it with pepper on it, especially on the lineup. On a cigar like this, this retro is smooth. It's all get out. And it's got excellent sweeter notes that are picking up through that retro hail. Now, this is in the Sublime size. It is a six by 54. You'll notice in a lot of boutique companies that certain Vitolas have very odd sounding names, perhaps, to some people. Instead of just Toro Robusto, you have like Sublime and you have Edmundo, such like that. It's really the artistry coming out in the piece of work that took 300 hands to craft. Mildius is that art craftsmanship, artisan project, and it's performing beautifully. That burn line is sharp, the ash is holding on great, great like tight ash to it as well. I'm gonna say not only does this hold up to the hype of the first Mildias, but honestly, it's impressing me just a touch more. And that could be because my particular palette, I enjoy Maduros and darker cigars, but this is a great cigar and it's really accessible to those who wanna bump it up a little bit to that medium plus range. And it's also really enjoyable for those who normally like stronger cigars. Mildias Maduro is now available. You know where to find it, as well as the rest of the portfolio of Crown Heads. Don't miss out on this new release. Check us out. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time here on Oakland Tobacconist.